The reality is you can have excuses or results, not both. No one has ever blamed their way to the top. boys how are we for those of you new here i'm a psychology student trained to be a therapist so on this channel we talk about mindset positivity lifestyle mental health and all things like that so if that sounds good stick around today i wanted to talk about taking responsibility um, i know i gave the video a silly title that's what you do it's youtube um, but the point it's trying to make still stands i wanted to talk more specifically about the power of taking responsibility and the effect it can have on your life and more importantly the problems that come from not taking responsibility taking responsibility is so important because you can't change things that you're not responsible for so saying that you're not responsible for anything and taking no responsibility and accountability and saying nothing's within your control is pretty much the fastest way to send your life down the drain the reality is sitting there and saying i'm overweight because of my genetics or i'm out of shape because of my genetics or i get bad grades because i'm just not that bright that does absolutely nothing for you you may genuinely believe those things are true but that belief system is exactly what's holding you back because what you're effectively telling yourself is no matter what i do no matter how well behaved i am no matter how many good habits i have i'm always just going to look like this i'm always going to be out of shape i'm always going to be unfit i'm always going to be stupid whatever the thing is and how sad is that? One, because that is in 90% of cases categorically not true. And two, what are you fighting for then? What What is the point in even getting up in the morning if you've got that sort of attitude? It's far more powerful to take responsibility for everything you're doing in every situation that you're in. Because once you've got responsibility for it, that gives you the ability to make changes. The reality is your life right now, where you are, is a culmination of decisions that you've made over the time that you've been alive. And you may be able to point to specific events that genuinely weren't your fault, genuine curveballs or whatever that you've been thrown. And that can be very true, but... The way you reacted to them, the actions you took in response to those events, are still your responsibility. I was born with one of the worst congenital heart diseases a human can have. And as a result of that, I've had four open heart surgeries. That is not my fault. That is objectively not my fault. I was literally born with it. Nothing I can do. But what is my fault, or what was my fault, was that... I didn't train properly, I didn't eat properly, I didn't sleep properly, I didn't drink enough water, I didn't do enough exercise, I blamed my heart for things that weren't actually because of that. I took myself out of situations that I didn't need to take myself out of and I missed out on a lot of opportunities that I didn't need to miss out on because I'd convinced myself that because of my heart I couldn't do it. Whereas now, since I've started really taking my self-development seriously, I do train properly, I do eat properly 90% of the time, I don't drink too much. I don't do recreational drugs. I try everything and then let my body tell me when I can't do something. Even a month ago, if you just said to me that I'd be running a 5k every week, I've said I, d I actually don't think I can do that. I'm doing it now, no problem. By the end of summer, I'm genuinely hoping that I'm going to be able to get to doing a 10k reasonably comfortably. Imagine if I'd started doing that when I was 18 or 19, not 26 years old, because I told myself 10 years ago that I might be able to go to the gym and do this, that and the other, but I'll never be able to run just because my heart isn't strong enough. Now, at the moment, something like a marathon, or certainly an ultra marathon, probably is going to be too far. My heart doesn't work properly, it would not be able to sustain itself over five, six hours, or however long it would take me to run a marathon. That might just be laws of biology, but at the moment I don't know that. If I can get to... 5k I can definitely get to 10k if I can get to 10k there's no reason I can't start doing half marathons and in a couple of years from now if I'm getting okay at half marathons who knows where it could go but none of that would have come about if I hadn't taken responsibility for what I could control I can't control that I've got a heart problem but what I can control is how I react to it and how I treat my body going forward Unfortunately, three weeks ago, I lost my oldest and closest friend completely out of nowhere. Again, objectively, that is not my fault. Nothing I could have done to affect that situation. What is my fault is that I didn't take the time to call, text, FaceTime him since he'd moved out to Canada. I didn't make enough arrangements when he was back in the UK. And we just didn't spend enough time together when we were in the same country because I took that time for granted, thinking that we'd have 30, 40 years of friendship together. 
So again, going forward, what can I do? I can't undo what I've done in the past, but what I can take responsibility for is maintaining friendships that I've got with my current friends. Heaven forbid if anything like that to happen again. I was absolutely rubbish at work when I was at secondary school and, and primary school, frankly. I've never been very good at the academic side, but problem was I went to university and I took that attitude with me. And the whole time I've been telling myself, you're not very good at writing, you're not very good at academics. When in reality, considering I'm probably not doing enough work as I should be, if I'm being honest with myself, I'm still getting two ones on most of my essays. So there's absolutely no reason if I actually put my head down, take a bit of extra time, practice writing essays and put a bit more time into the actual assignment, there's no reason I can't start breaking that 70 barrier in all my assignments and getting firsts. Or I could just sit there and go, no, well, that was just the genetic lottery that I got. I'm not very good at academics. My brother's the smart one and I'm not. But what use does that do me? What, that's going to do me no good if I'm standing up at my graduation ceremony with a 2-2 going, oh, well, you know, it's just my genetics. No, I take responsibility for what I can take responsibility for. The reality is you could have excuses or results, not both. No one has ever blamed their way to the top. People at the top, sport, business, whatever, have got there by obfuscating responsibility and saying, oh, I'm just not good at this, I'm just not good at that, there's nothing I can do. There is always something you can do. It might not be perfect, you might not get a situation 100% to where it needs to be, but you can always perform an action to get yourself closer to where you want to be. An amazing book on this subject is Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink, very famous book, very famous guy. I believe he was, a, he was either a Navy SEAL or a Marine. Um, he's done one of the top five listen to TED Talks or something like that as well. Um, where he tells an incredible story about the importance of taking responsibility, so I'd definitely check that out as well. As always, I always recommend action over rather just listening to me, so try it. Do yourself a favour, for even for one week, ideally a bit longer, a month or something, but for one week, just take absolute responsibility. Just imagine it, saying to yourself every morning, everything is my fault. How you look, how you feel, what job you have, how much money you're earning, what your hair looks like, what your bedroom looks like, everything. Just imagine it's your fault. For one week, take absolute responsibility for everything that happens. Change those things and see where your life ends up. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. I do appreciate you guys who stick around. If you did find any of it useful, please do consider liking and subscribing. As always, comment any other thoughts you have below and I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care lads.